fish now. <coughs> if Jock Strap saw us, you know, that's in the bleeding school team. If Jock Strap had saw us, he should have just started. If anyone would have saw us, he would have had us. Any sign? Can't hear the sirens or anything. Looks like we've done it then. Come on. He won't have said. Al, Al, do you know? I just do. Al. I just do, right? Al. Cos I do. <laughs> Dickhead. He's right, you know. Why? Cos I am. And he agrees with me. Bloody hell, it's like talking to our dog's backside, talking to you too. I always wonder what was wrong with your dog. You are. It talks to its backside, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't bark. It goes, crab, 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 crab. <laughs> You're thick, you two. You were. <laughs> Come, Ed. Where are you going? Well, I'm not going to walk straight down our road, am I, soft lad? I suppose not. No. Won't be anyone, he'll, will there? Take he ah. will be, and he'll put the bubble in, no messing. Come on. All right. Should have left him there and give me a hand here trying to shift him. What did your half fella make you something back for anyway? He's like that, isn't he? Pay for piss and paint, up the cuckoo's back. Oh, come on, we dumped him there, didn't we? Yeah, but. But what? He's got no sense of humour, your dad. You sure you're right about registration this morning? Yes. He'd just like us to get caught. He never caught Boxy Dwyer, did he? They don't want to catch Boxy Dwyer, they'd rather he was away all the time. It's on flame and right flipping. Ah, oh, shit! Watch that puddle there, Giz. I told you the silly old sod would be there. You go round the back and I'll slot in here. Standing there. Piss artist. I tell you what, I'm going for a slash. Put the kettle on, Doxy. Can't hear that bleeding thing. I'll turn it off. Oh, no we? one's about. Did you hear that back at school? Got any toast? No, but if you haven't got a damn lace and egg in a minute. Sort of. You'd have had your brownies on if you were in your house. Call him one now, probably. Where's the bread? In there. Hey, you better make sure we clean it up as well. the door open. What's the matter? A bit of fresh air never hurt anyone? It's not the freshness I mind, it's the temperature. Getting as bad as Bogus here. Not in here, dear. 
perhaps next time. Sorry? No matter. Well, where am I supposed to wash up? There's a perfectly good bathroom upstairs. Never used to use the bathroom. Never used to use the kitchen either. This mine? Yes. Haven't you unearthed that china tea set yet? No. It really is a mystery. I was sure I'd packed it separately. Well, let's hope it turns up. Well, I don't see how it can. That's the last of the packing cases. Couldn't have left it behind, I suppose. Hardly. But even if I had, I'm sure that... What was their name? Croxwell. I'm sure they'd have been in touch. Probably still going through the blasted solicitors if they have found it. What's this? Oh, that came for next door a few days ago. I've been meaning to take it round. Well, no use now. They're both out at work. I don't know what to say to them. I feel so ashamed. No. Simple misunderstanding. I'll pop round with it this evening if you like. Oh, would you? How's it going outside? Nearly done. Couldn't you have waited until the weather was a bit warmer? Nothing much else for me to do, is there? Why do you think Turkey's off, like? Should be in work, shouldn't he? Probably bunking off like us. Probably an oldie more, like. Here's what always are. Imagine having him as a dad, though. I wouldn't fancy him. He wouldn't fancy having you. What's the punts like? Who said he's a punts? Looks it to me. Everyone looks it to you. I reckon we should kick his head in. Why? Because he looks like a punch, of course. You're thick, you are. Why? Scared of him, are you? Hey, I know what he means about talking to a dog's backside now. I hate kids who go to private school. Why? Stuck up little bastards. You're just jealous because your old fella can't afford it. Hey, it's your pay able to. It's been on the door long enough. Besides, I bet that bloke doesn't even want to go. I bet his mum and dad make him. No one would make me. Can't even make me go to our school. James right. It's not his fault this old fella's a silly old sad. Or did he got to go to a private school and end up a silly old sad himself? He needs to. You do, you mean. Alright, so it's a bit off having a go at the bloke. It's not a pants anymore then. Nah. But this old fella gets right up my nose, he does. It's big enough. Any more tea? Shall I stick it on again? Yeah. Well, what are we going to do now? Don't know. Better blow from here soon, though. The time it'll take is to get down to the shop and pick me key up from me man. Have you seen that? Pissing rocket, that is. <laughs> How long do you reckon that's going to last? If we're going. Well, that's no problem then, is it? Seeing as you're not going. Oh, well, why not? Susie and Pauline's mother said it'll be all right. And I'm not Susie and Pauline's mother, am I? Oh, but why? You're not old enough. I'll be 16 by next summer. Which is still not old enough. <laughs> you let our Barry go to Spain when he was 16. I didn't. We agreed he could go to Butlins. It wasn't until he got home that we found out where he'd really been. He even got someone to send his flaming postcards for him. Well, you don't want me doing that, do you? No, you won't get the chance, love. I've been caught on that one. From now on, we see the booking confirmation. What's my dad say? Same as me. You're not going. You just never let me do anything. You'd always treat me like you're still a little kid or something. Well, stop acting like one. You don't seriously think I'd let a 15-year-old girl go gallivanting halfway around Europe on her own, do you? Because if you do, you've got less sense than I've given you credit for. And don't go giving me the everybody else is going line because the queer fellas use them all up ahead of you. Hi, Ma. You're early. Oh, Liverpool Challenge Club tonight. Mm. Did you get me kit ready? Don't I always? Who's pinched your teddy bear, then? <laughs> Do you want your tea before you go? Nah, no, just a shiny old thing. I suppose I'm gonna have to make that myself, aren't I? Suppose right. 
What's wrong with it anyway? Wrong time of the month together, is it? That'll do. <laughs> Where are you playing? Rain Hill. Out with the woolly backs. I'll have to take me a bag on Fray's bit with me. Yeah, all right. Is there no cheese? Should be plenty in there, love. I can't see any. Well, I could have sworn I got some. Not much bread either. That's odd. Yeah, probably our gannet scoffed it after he come home from no, school. No, no, he's gone to Gizmo's after school. Perhaps I left it at work. Perhaps you did. Anyway, this Sam will do. No, that's your father's carrying out tomorrow. Your father can go to the canteen. That's if he's in work tomorrow. Well, why shouldn't he be? Probably can tell her, reckons they're going to have a walk out. My dad never said anything. I don't think my dad knows. It's a oh. wildcat. How do you know, then? Probably can sell a place of gold for us, doesn't he? Oh, blooming marvellous, isn't it? Flaming football team knows more than the flaming union. Yeah, it's amazing what comes out, out in them showers after training. <laughs> why didn't you tell your dad last night? Never saw. Sure. Oh, well, if you got in at a decent time, you might do. Anyway, it's probably all mouth. You know what can sell us like? He saves more goals with his mouth than he does with his hands. Where is the rest of this bread? Over there in that bag. Oh, wow. Uh... What's that? Oh, we're caught at work. Let me see. Oh, it's not, man. Let me see. It was nothing. That needs stitching. Just leave it. Little scar. Well, it won't be the first, will it? Or the last. How did it happen? I wasn't quick enough. Doing what? Getting out of the way. Of what? Does it matter, Matt? I want to know. The wall that should have won went one way fell the other. I've never seen Al jump move so fast in my life. Oh, Barry. How did it happen? Stupid sod on the crane. Got the ball caught in a steel frame, didn't he? Decided to yank it free. Pull the cable that bloody hard, he could have paid a patty on it. Anyway, one went and the whiplash brought the rest of the wall down. Well, was there anybody seriously hurt? Dickie Wilson. The cable caught him just below the shoulder. Did reckon he might lose his arm? But he's got three little ones, hasn't he? Yeah. Two girls and a boy. All of them are under five. Oh, my God. And you wonder why I worry about you? It only happens once in a blue moon, ma. It wouldn't happen that many times if you didn't work there. Well, what am I supposed to do? You're a joiner, aren't you? Surely to God you can find a job at your proper trade. Yeah, but not at a decent wage. Or what I call a decent wage, anyway. This is going to hurt. Sorry. I don't know why you're bothering doing this. Oh, it's terrible. I don't know why you think you've got to earn so much money. Well, just take a look at the car out on the path. It doesn't run on thin air, you know. Oh, why you have to drive round in something like that? Oh, well, what do you want me to get, man? A reliant robin or a sit-up and beg frog thing like they have across the close? Well, you could do worse. Not for me image, you couldn't. I can just imagine it. The night at the Adelphi Casino. DJ the lot, a few bob on the tables. And then I pull a banker's daughter from Oily and whizz her through the tunnel in me three-wheeler. Do us a favour with you, man. I'm riding around in a motorbike and a sidecar next. Don't you know? I just want to enjoy my life. If you live long enough. Anyway, it's not my fault I've got expensive taste, is it? Oh, really? And whose fault is it? No one's. I'm just a victim of our consumer society, aren't I? I see something on the telly and I want it. So I have to go where the money is to get it, don't I? Well... It's a pity we don't see a bit more of it round here in the form of a decent bit of housekeeping. You're always going on like that, aren't you? Go on. Anyway, what about this? Where did you get this? That's the bonus that stupid sod the crane was trying to get when he nearly killed us all. Him knocking the wall down meant we made it. <laughs> At what cost? Ah, oh, well, we threw an half a dicky and that's the rest. And I know what I'm going to do with it. You're going to spend it, aren't you? No. I'm going to give it to the church offertory fund and thank God it wasn't your arm. I'm going to go and get me kid ready. There are four there now. Ten out of ten for arithmetic.
He's probably a pound too, isn't he, Gizmo? Bet he went to a private school. She did. You can tell. I wonder what happened to them cuckoos. Nicked, probably. Who by? No way to call us. Someone must think so. Who? Uh, Whoever nicked them. He's doing his friggin' homework. Poor oh, sod. That's what comes of going to the wrong school. At least at our place to leave you alone. Giving up more like. I give up in the infants. You weren't even under consideration. He had you so straight out. <laughs> yeah, you loony. All right, pack it in, will you? All right, Dad. All right. Want me to park it when our bags has gone out? We're not simple-minded. Don't you answer that, Gizmo. <laughs> Don't go on so much about it. There's just no point in worrying about something that might never happen. There's a good chance that it might. And he could go under a bus. If he didn't work there, there'd be no chance of it happening. We'll check the lab, then. He's getting his kid together, where do you think he is? Hiya, kid. Hiya. How's things at work? OK. We pulled bonus strike for a while. Have you? Yeah, we're going to reconsider that bonus deal. Do you want a cup of tea? Yes, please. Barry says that Kinsella fella's organising the walkout. Kinsella? The only walkout he can organise, and the only one he's interested in is onto the football field. Hello, lad. All right. You mean talking to Bobby Kinsella? All right, Pat. No one talks to Kinsella. He <laughs> talks to you. What's he been saying now? Oh, the usual garbage. He reckons you's lot of sold out and you couldn't organise a piss up in a brewery. Less of the language. It's all mapped anyway. Like someone else I could mention. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. Believe it. You're not worried about him, are you? No, not about Mega Mouth, I'm not. I just wish he'd either bloody join us or shut up. That's too much responsibility for the first, and it's a physical impossibility for the other. The likes of Kinsella just enjoy putting a knife in. <laughs> don't I know it? You know, I'd noble him for you, but we need him to play against Marine on Saturday, don't we? <laughs> right, I'd better get off then. See you, mate. I'll right, see you later. Ten hour, love. Bye. What? When you've moved that heap of yours, put my car away. Can't you get our demon to do it? I can, but I won't. Have you had somebody to read, Karen? Yeah, I'm going out now. Where to? Out. Is this Kinsella thing nothing to worry about? No, he's a bloody clown. What about this productivity thing? What? The productivity thing. Will it stop the strike? I don't know, Sheila, it depends. On what? On how the profit margin looks for this year. What? Whether it's good or bad, you mean? Bobby? Well, that depends as well, Sheila. On what? On what set of books they look at, if you know what I mean. Why does it always seem like trying to get blood out of a stone talking to you or Barry? I don't know, is it? Yes, it flaming well is. Well, it depends on what you're talking about, doesn't it? Thank you. Are you having anything to eat? Depends, doesn't it? On what? On whether I end up talking to myself or not. You lot must be mad standing in the rain here. Yeah, I'll give these keys to me half fellow, will you? Are you playing? Rain hill? No chance. I know they haven't, but they still want to go through with it. Mad bastards. Why don't you leave that and put the locks on the doors? Because I want to do this. The locks are more important. I want to do this. You've been at it for two weeks. What makes you think you're going to achieve the big breakthrough tonight? Well, which is it to be? Chili con carne or curry? Either, I don't care. Chili? Yes! <laughs> Damn! How do they expect you to pull this together with no written instructions and only four screws? Are we going to do this sign or what? Nah, not tonight. Why not? Because my half fellow's seen us here, hasn't he? That's why not. But what are we going to do? I don't know, do I? No, what I reckon. I what? reckon we should get some putty and stick it in his locks. Bloody stupid rubbish.
Door. Get it. Yes. Oh, uh, sorry to bother you, old chap. Uh, this was dropped off at our place when your other package was delivered the other day. I've been meaning to pop over with it. Uh, sorry. Oh. Thank you. Right. Uh, sorry to trouble you. Bloody stupid old fart. Grantly, eh? Who wants to know? I do. Now, does she? Yeah, that's a good death. Oh, go on. Who do you think you are? Bleeding chips? Hey, just go and tell her, eh? What's your name, then? She'll know who it is. Tell her yourself. <laughs> well, you can't force him to go to the hospital. Just as you can't force him to pack it in. And you know what? He's right. There is more money in it for him. I know. He'll be all right. The chances of anything happening are pretty slim. I'll get it. I know. I can't help worrying about him. There's a car in there. Calvin. Just a minute, son. Calvin! Someone for you! If you really want something to worry about, you better take a look at that. 